What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's so nice to have you. Today, I finally have a brand new week of workouts that I'm sharing with you guys. And I have three of these videos so far. So if you wanted to work out with me for an entire month, now you can. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through my workouts, my specific workouts, just things that I do in the gym. And hopefully it gives you a little sense of reality of what people look like in the gym. Cause not everybody looks like the post Instagram version of themselves when they're actually working out, which I think we all know, but it's nice to be reminded of that. So I will have a little tips and tricks, little tidbits that I'm sharing with you guys on the screen that I will talk you through and walk you through throughout this video. Don't take this as scripture. This is just me sharing how I work out. I'm not your personal trainer. I'm just your friend from a distance that's working out with you. I hope that this can serve as some motivation, some inspiration for you, and I hope that you enjoy it. I have a four day in the gym workout split for you guys. It's the same as it usually is. So my first day is usually going to be glutes and hamstrings. My second day is shoulders and triceps. Third day is quads and calves. And then my fourth day is back and biceps. If I do a fifth day, it's going to be a full body day or it's going to be an extra rest day. I'm going to take you through those four structured workouts throughout this week. If you guys see any outfits that you like, all of my outfits are from Gymshark and you guys can shop them. I have them on the screen so you know what the items are and I'll be sure to have my link in the description box so you guys can shop that if you would like to. It directly supports me as an athlete but hopefully this motivates you, gives you some inspiration. If you're new in the gym and you just don't know what to do, I hope that this can help. Let's get into the first day. Guys, welcome back to a brand new week of workouts. I'm so excited about this one. We are starting today with glutes and hamstrings. So I have my workout here for you guys. If you want to screenshot, I will also have it in the description box. But first, we're gonna warm up. The day before this, I actually went on a five mile run. So it was really nice to be able to come therig on my legs before I was demolishing them with a nice little glutes and hamstrings workout. They were pretty sore, so I was loosening them up. But we know the importance of a warm up. I know you're like, Libby, why do I have to warm up? Let me tell you, a dynamic warm up is is really beneficial. It helps to increase your range of motion and also gets those muscles ready to go. It's going to get them all primed and prepped and it also helps to prevent injury. Just getting that blood flowing, this helps to make sure that we're actually prepared for our movements and your warm up will depend on what muscle group you're training that day. So for me, I do the same kind of leg warm up each time. There are so many different types of warm ups that you can do. You can do jump roping, you can do some nice little stretches in place, you can do leg swings, all kinds of things that are going to promote some type of mobility and movement prior to actually getting weight on your body. All right, let me catch you guys up to speed. Shout out to Billy. He always comes to say hi when I see him at the gym. He's so sweet. But prior to this, the day before I had got back from Austin, Texas, where I shot with Gymshark, we were doing an entire workout, you guys. I was doing deadlifts. I was doing hip thrusts. I was literally falling apart. I was like, yeah, ain't no way I'm coming back to the gym the day that I do get home. So of course, what did I do? I listened to my body because she was like, girl, I need a rest. And I was like, listen, I already know queen. So we took a little rest, went on a nice little run, but we're back here now. And we are starting this workout with some sumo dead deadlifts, which we love. We love some deadlifts and I don't do them too often, but with some sumo deadlifts and with any movement, honestly, it's going to depend on your body mechanics, how you perform the movement. But I have some nice little things that I like to remember, such as pointing my toes outwards and also stacking my shoulders over the bar and bracing my core when I do these. We complete three by 10 of these. It is time to rack the weights, put them away and get ready for our next exercise. I hope you are prepared. Okay, but how cute is this outfit? I never wear red, but this is the sweat seamless from Gymshark. Love her. Wait, I'm getting carried away, but we're going to go into three by eight double contraction RDLs. I freaking love RDLs. They are my favorite. I just love to do different variations of them. But with this, make sure that you act like you're going to push a door closed with your butt. So you're hinging at your hips. And then aside from that, we're going to skim our shins. We're not scrubbing the skin off of it. We're just going to skim them. And with this, you can either go fourth of the way down or half of the way down. And then you're going to finish a full rep after that. And that counts as one. Next up, we have some Bulgarians. I'm so sorry to do it to you. I really am. But we're going to do three by eight of these Bulgarian split squats. But we're going to have an emphasis on our glutes. So we're going to hinge a little bit at our hips rather than having our chest more upright. This is how I measure and get into the place. So I usually like will put my foot on the box and then step out. And I'm like, okay, that's a good position. But if you were to be more upright and your chest is more forward, that is going to hit more of your quad. So there's a little hack for you. Your girl was struggling. I always am in Bulgarians, but I feel like everybody is. I don't love them. They're like my least favorite, but I will do them still. Next, we're going to go over to this little baby. We love a good little jacket hat moment. Now, I think that my favorite feeling is that little tense feeling that you get in your hamstrings when you're just like stretching those babies, but we're going to do three by 10 kettlebell swings. I'm hinging at my hips in this. There's so many variations of kettlebell swings that you can do though. And instead of swinging the kettlebell with my arms, I'm going to make sure that the hinge of my hips is propelling the kettlebell forward. That's where you will feel that little burn. Next, we're heading over to the line hamstring curl and you gotta wipe that thing off. I was like, mm, girl, I'm not putting my whole skin on this thing. We are doing four sets of 10 of these. I actually did this as a drop set. So each set, I actually decreased my weight. And even though I decreased my weight, the burn was still there. You wanna focus on your form, make sure that your hamstrings are doing the work for you. You see, at this moment, after this entire workout, I had to have a come to Jesus moment. I was really having a heart to heart with myself because I thought I was going to pass away, you guys. But 
I went to the mirror and I was checking myself out as you should after every workout. The workout here for you to screenshot. I've got the fit here for you to shop. But you guys, I don't know if my booty has ever been this plump after a workout. Next up, we have day two and that is shoulders and triceps. Let's get warmed up. Like I talked about previously, a dynamic warm up means that you are in motion while you are warming up. So you can do static holds at the end, but I like to be in motion using a resistance band, a PVC pipe, all of that good stuff to warm up this back and this upper body. I know it's not just me that feels like upper body days go by so much quicker than my lower body days, which makes sense because obviously you can get through these exercises a bit quicker, but hey, don't skip the warm up. I know you see that pop up on the screen. Probably like Libby, my upper body doesn't need warmed up. My rotator cuffs are gonna be fine. You are lying to yourself and you're lying to me if you really think that you don't need to warm up your upper body. I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. Very stable joints in our workouts and we want a lifetime of healthy joints. Now, the shoulder joint is one of the most mobile joints in the body and I know that there's a lot of people that don't have good mobility work on it it'll get better if you don't use it you lose it now we're going to begin this workout with a nice little shoulder press and i know everybody's probably like there are so many exercises that you can do where you put a weight above your head yes this is true but i did a seated shoulder press we love that for us but i don't do them often to be honest and i usually do like a military press or an overhead press but i decided to start with 25s and i was like listen girl i know that you're strong i truly just couldn't find the 30s and i was like let's go up to 35s and i did it okay you're stronger than you think you are I I promise. I do three by eight of those and then we're gonna go into three by eight leaning lateral raises. Now typically I do a nice little like you know dual lateral raise but with this I was able to increase my weight more than I thought I could. I was going up with what 22.5 on these? Yes we all make those ugly gym faces and I'm here to normalize them because I do that quite often. After the lateral raises we're going to go into four by six front raises but we're going to be supersetting this. Now if you don't know what a superset is it's basically just performing one exercise after the other with little to no rest in between. We're going into four by 30 race car drivers right after those front raises. You can grab a big plate a small plate what you're to do is hold it out in front of you and twist at your shoulders you will feel the burn i promise you next up we have three by ten cable face pulls we love a good face pull we love the rear delts look at those babies pop i find myself doing a lot more freeway exercises but i always forget how nice the cable machine is to have we're not done quite yet we're gonna go into three sets of as many reps as possible of these tricep dips and oh Lord, they took me out, you guys. Those babies quite literally took me out, love. But it was a good time. After that, we're gonna go do our cool down. And I know you're like, do I really need to do a cool down for my upper body? Yes, yes, you do, babes. I truly think I have the back that never stops cracking because I love a good foam roll on my back. I could do this for ages and it will never stop popping, but it's the most satisfying feeling and I just feel such a release when I do it. So make sure that you're hitting that upper body instead of just the lower body. I'm doing a nice little full body foam roll, but at the same time, make that you're prioritizing the areas that are tender that are sore that need a little bit of extra help i like to use my theragun for that because it will just pulse all of that tension out of my body and of course no workout is complete without a nice little mirror pump check my back my shoulders they've grown so much and i'm so proud but here's the workout here's an outfit that is similar the new camo shorts are so fire i'm wearing the vital seamless here but there are so many ways to recreate this outfit the new camo shorts they are mwah, chef's kiss next up we have another leg day it's day three baby i hope that you're ready to go okay i hope you got a good little recovery moment in we have a lot of different exercises today but we're making sure that we do our warm-up i'm doing some little hinges with the resistance band and some squats now you and i both know that not every single workout is going to be the best workout of your life but it's important to show up it's important to still finish if you have the power to do so i know sometimes it's like hey i'm walking out of the gym right now and that is also 100 acceptable but at least you made it there i'm getting my weights all set up and i'm getting prepared to do some front squats now ideally i do have leg press after this i wish that i had the ability to throw that in first to pre-exhaust my muscles but that's okay we are going to be doing three by ten front squats now what i like to do is elevate my heels it helps to target the quads just a little bit more but we're going to make sure that we're really bracing our core for this and taking our time on the way down as well as up and there are a lot of different ways that you can rack the weight when you're doing a front squat you can use dumbbells you don't have to use a barbell i like to use it and hold it on my shoulders but you can also cross your arms in front of your body which might be a little bit more comfortable for you next up we're heading over to our leg press like i said i wish that i could have added this first just to pre-exhaust my muscles but she's still going to be effective we're going to do three sets of 12 challenging ourselves with the weight but also doing something that's not going to hurt us now, on this leg day i also wore a brand new colorway of the new sweat seamless collection i love this collection you guys and i know i probably say that about everything but this just feels elevated luxury athleisure activewear and i am obsessed with it
right but let's be real here i actually was trembling as you can see um my legs were not doing well the shiver the shake it was so real but it's okay i felt good afterwards now sometimes i forget how great certain exercises are i decided to throw some pistol squats in i did this with a little kettlebell and i'm not gonna lie i'm not the best at them but the more that we do them the better that we get and you can do these body weight or weighted if you wanted to and then with that being said you don't have to just jump into doing a pistol squat i know that there's a lot of different steps into getting this down but you can use a trx you can use a box so many different things that can help you to get up to doing a pistol squat but as you can see I failed it's not necessarily a failure because I kept going but with this I literally ended up on the ground decided to do body weight but don't be afraid to either drop the weight or lose the weight completely just to finish that set listen my legs were complete and utter toast after this but I went straight into three by eight walking lunges and oh my gosh the pain was real but it was a good type of pain but you can see here that my entire body is engaged my shoulders my back my core my legs everything is working in unison and that is what's really important when you're doing your exercises to finish off the weighted portion of this workout we're first going to go check ourselves out in the mirror because the pump is going to be real by this point but we're going to go into three by 20 calf raises and babes babes let me tell you the calf raises do be taking me out even though i'm long limbed they hurt so bad all right and i know you love to hate it but we're gonna do some treadmill sprints i do anywhere from three to six 30 seconds on 30 seconds off and i increase my speed every time that i'm doing a new set of these started at 10 miles per hour and then i worked myself up to 13 miles per hour sometimes i'll do 13.5 but girl i was i was about to pass away after this one next we have our cool down and don't don't even try to skip it don't do it don't do it we've talked a lot about what a dynamic warm-up is and we've talked about what dynamic stretching is that means that you are in motion while you're doing something now we are going to focus on doing a little bit of some static movements and some static stretches at the end of this workout doing these static stretches at the end of our workout in addition to doing some foam rolling really tells our body okay it's time to get back to a little neutral we're gonna cool down a little bit but static stretching is basically stretching a muscle to its furthest point and holding that position for a little bit of time so anywhere from like 10 to 25 30 seconds after we do our cool down, you know what time it is. We have our screenshot of the workout here, and then we have the new fit. She is fire, she is spicy, she is everything I could ever dream of. And might I add that the pump was going crazy, the quads were doing their thing, but in addition to that, the full body pump was actually doing the dang thing. All right, love, you've made it to the last day of the week. We have upper body, we're gonna hit some back and biceps today, and ooh girl, we're gonna be real swole. Making sure that we do a nice little warm up. I'm trying to drill this into your head. I know you see the pop up. Don't skip your warm up or I will cry. So you'll notice that for my upper body days, I typically have a very similar warm up, and then for my lower body days, same type of thing. Now for full body, I will do both of those and I will just throw them into the same warm up. Yes, my guest star Bronx is over here snoozing, but we're gonna start this workout off with three sets of as many reps as possible. We're doing some nice pull ups. Yes, ma'am, you can do these banded, you can do these assisted, however you are most comfortable. Oh, and you better not sleep on those scapula rotations. They feel so good. I wish that I could do a dead hang a little bit easier, but I'm kind of as tall as the entire squat rack i know libby's switching it up she's doing three by ten bent over barbell rows and i typically i like to do some pen play rows which is basically the same thing with an overhand grip but you're coming to a dead stop with these obviously we know how rows work really making sure that we're not going to swing the weight too much and we're going to come and squeeze that back at the top as well as use those biceps you already know every single back day is going to include some single arm dumbbell rows for me i did four sets of six i think that my pr right now is 95 you guys i'm very excited about that i have to hit 100 soon i really promised myself that i would hit 100 by the end of the summer and we're getting close to the end of summer babes but we're gonna go into some lap pull downs make our way over to the little cable machine we're doing four by eight of these i really don't visit the cable machine that often but every time i film my back doing this i need to do like some type of transformation because my back is probably like my pride and joy at this point but oh my gosh i got to meet one of you guys it was the coolest experience we were working out next to each other i died it was so cute but okay four by ten of these cable bicep curls girl I was passing away let me tell you with proper form 10 pounds can feel like 100 very easily now with these you're going to keep your elbows locked to your sides and really allow that bicep to do its work here all right you guys we're gonna make sure that we check ourselves out also do not forget your cool down I know that you won't let me down but can't believe we finished this week of workouts I hope that you guys enjoyed it I'll see you soon oh
whirlwind just like that we've wrapped up an entire week i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging out with me thanks for working out with me please let me know if you guys do try these little workouts out if you implement any of them into your regular routine or if you just switch it up and you start this whole week and you want to know what it's about i didn't realize how impactful these workouts and these videos were for you guys i honestly was just uploading them because i was like what can i add to my channel that's new but so many of you guys have enjoyed them and it's got such a good response so i'm glad that it can be helpful and motivational for you guys if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up so i know that you did like it also be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss another video with me let me know what else you guys do want to see and you guys can keep up with me every single day on instagram and tiktok at libby christensen and i will talk to you guys later